Well, the two largest planets in our solar system aligned in a way that hasn't been seen for centuries. As our Caroline Vandergriff explains, it was a holiday light show of the season for some people. Jupiter and Saturn appearing to merge into a single source of light tonight, an astronomical conjunction. Jupiter moves faster because it's closer to the sun and it's catching up with Saturn. And so we will see them together in the sky. The last visible conjunction this close happened nearly 800 years ago. It's pretty neat to be able to see something that is rare to, for us to be able to see. Families came out to Veterans Park in Arlington for a glimpse of the cosmic marvel. I got a telescope for Christmas and my mom let me unwrap it early because we want to see the planets. We all got the telescope out. We don't know how to use it, but we're figuring it out. And I think we got something. I think we got something. So yeah, we're really excited. The good news for amateur astronomers, the great conjunction can be seen with the naked eye. It is a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Some even think the star of Bethlehem was a similar planetary happening. It is possible though that the Christmas star that's referenced in the biblical texts is a reference to an astronomical event because it may have been significant to astrologers. This year, it's viewed as a thrill of hope for a world weary of 2020. It's supposed to be a, a, a new dawn. It's supposed to be an era of change and awakening. So I think people are excited for that based off of um, the year that's been happening. If you miss the big show tonight, you don't have to wait another 800 years to see it again, but it will be a while. The next grand conjunction of the two planets is expected in 2080. In Arlington, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. 60 years from now. All right.